Hello everyone, today we're going to go over 6th grade lesson 5. And the first question, Hannah sold 48 flowers in 3 hours at the farmer's market. If she continues to sell at that rate, how many flowers will she sell in the next 2 hours? So the information that is given to us is that she sold 48 flowers in 3 hours. We can get the rate, so the rate would be uh, the amount of flowers she sold per hour. So we can just do that by dividing 3 on both sides. Or you can just do 48 divided by 3, but I'm just trying to give a visual. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 48 divided by 3 is 16, which is basic... Oh, which is basically what I just said earlier. If you just do 48 divided by 3, it would give you 16. So basically the same thing. So 16 uh, flowers per hour is our rate. And so in order to find how many flowers she will sell in two hours or in the next two hours, we would have to multiply 2 or to uh, give a visual of why we would do this, it would be because, so now we have to find uh, the number of flowers for two hours, right? So we would have two here, and that would mean that we multiply two on the bottom like this. Then that means we also multiply the top by two like that. And 16 times 2 is 32. So this means that in the next two hours, she is going to sell 32 flowers. So D is our correct answer. Okay, next one. Joseph went to visit his grandmother with his parents. They drove 240 miles in four hours. What was the average speed they were traveling? So we know that they were traveling 240 miles in four hours. So again, to get the rate, we just have to do 240 divided by four, uh, or we can do uh, the visual, or the thing that I showed, which is just dividing, oops, dividing four, not multiplying. Dividing for so that we can get one, right? Because we want to know the speed per hour, the miles per hour. So we would have to get one hour here. So four divided by four, one, and then 240 divided by four is 60. So this means that for every one hour or per hour, uh, it's 60 miles that is being driven, I guess. So C is our correct option. Okay, uh, let's skip this one. Let's go to this one. This one is actually very simple. You just have to, so it, it's, well, it's asking, uh, there are 72 apple trees in the orchard arranged in nine equal rows. How many apple trees are there in each row? So again, this is pretty simple. You just it's just saying that if the 72 apple trees are distributed equally into nine rows, how many apple trees will there be in each of those rows? So this would be just having 72 divided by nine. Oops, sorry, divided by nine. Right, because again, we're dividing the 72 apple trees equally into nine rows. So that's why we do 72 divided by nine. That is eight. So B is our correct answer. There would be eight apple trees in each row. Okay, let's do this question. Mr. Baker creates 35 math problems or math test problems in five hours for the upcoming math pop quiz. How many questions does Mr. Baker create in 
three hours. So again, the information that's given can uh, give us our rate. So 35 math test problems in five hours. So we need to find uh, the number of math test problems that is being created per hour in order to find uh, the amount of questions that was created in three hours. So first we would just find the rate. So again, you just have to do 35 divided by five or just to give a, a visual, you just do, well, you need one here, right? Cause we need it. We are trying to find the rate, which is the amount of math test problems that were created per hour. So divide five here and then 35 divide five here at the top. Again, same thing, 35 divided by 5, or 35 divided by 5 here, same thing, 35 divided by 5 is 7, so this shows that 7 questions are created in 1 hour. So in order to find uh, the amount of questions created in 3 hours, again, we just have to multiply 3, or just to give a visual, uh, so one hour, so we need to find it for three hours now. We just multiply three on the bottom, multiply three on the top. Seven times three is 21. So in three hours, 21 questions are being created. So A is our correct answer. And uh, we will skip six.